Welcome to my review of the Moscow Moto Bacillus jacket. This is the brand new 2019 Muscomoto Bacillus jacket and let's talk about it for a minute. Um, let's start off with the thing that's going to hit you first is this jacket retails for $600. Muscomoto claims that they're patterning it after um, an Arcteryx or Patagonia style where they want clean lines and simple functionality. Um, I own a lot of Arcteryx products. Uh, I have a pro deal through them through a bunch of different organizations. But let me say that the only reason that I buy Arcteryx, other than their quality is, is off the hook, is because I have that pro deal. Uh, the $600 for a jacket is a lot of money. And if you think about it, you could buy an adventure spec jacket and have enough money, which is not waterproof, and have enough money left over to buy a waterproof layer. Now, having said that, instead of two jackets, you have one jacket in the Basilisk. Um, it is lined with Event, so it is waterproof. Uh, it is has this what they're calling the super fabric which feels like it could take a couple crashes and not tear the rest of the material is kind of a it's not quite a soft shell it's a little harder than a soft shell it doesn't have a lot of give to it but it's also not as uh, smooth or as stiff and crinkly as a regular waterproof or as a regular rain jacket I guess I should say um, so the overall feel of this jacket is really, really solid. Um, maybe even more solid than like an Arcteryx type jacket. So very, very heavy. So did they pull off their clean and simple look? Well, for an adventure jacket, absolutely. Um, as far as pockets go, you basically have, you have your hand warmer. I'm going to call them hand warmer pockets. That are fairly deep they go all the way down to the corners all right so you got a hand warmer pocket two of those on these big zippers these big uh moscomoto zippers you've got on the outside again you've got these two chest vents one on either side you have these over the shoulder scoop style vents, although they don't have any specific mechanism to hold them open. Um, but the flap in the front I'm hoping is enough to catch some air. And then of course in the back you have these two big exhaust vents to let all the hot air back out. Um, so style wise for the outside as you can see it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I like the color, the gray and the kind of blackish gray with the with the blue their other color is green i'm not a green guy so i didn't go for that one um the chin which is slightly stiff and annoying kind of pokes you up underneath sometimes also is lined with this really soft i'm not even sure what this stuff is soft against the skin stuff i love the little what is that is that a velociraptor what is that there you go. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. It's a litter. I guess it's a basilisk. Now, I looked up basilisk, and that's a mythical creature that's a half serpent or half reptile, half chicken. Don't quote me on that. So back to our pockets, where you have two Napoleon pockets up here. Here's one on the left, Napoleon pocket on the right. This little hangy thing is not actually a pocket. That's that's the inside of the Napoleon pocket so that it hangs separate. So anything that's actually in your Napoleon pockets, um, if you were to get rained on, has to get through two layers of 
event waterproof fabric in order to get to you. Um, what else? So the jacket also comes with this powder skirt, which kind of clips in here and kind of tucks away when you don't want it. Um, I think they said it was inspired by skiers and snowboarders who put a powder skirt so that they don't get uh, powder up their jackets and it makes them cold. On this there's no zipper, it doesn't zip into the pants as far as I can tell. It also at the, at the bottom has this uh, shock cord to pull the whole bottom hem tight as well as this another shock cord up here to pull the neck tight. Um, so I guess if you are in the rain, right, you can pull this shock cord tight and cinch it up to your butt. You can put the powder skirt on. You can pull the zipper up, which I have to tell you, these zippers work super easy. They're big and they have these big rubber material type pulls on them. So you can really get a hold of them with a gloved hand. Now I just said that, I can't get the, there we go. Okay. Pull up. So that other cinch cord right there, that's the release, cinches this neck down. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna mix the good with the bad as I go along. Um, one of the bad things is I wish this collar would lay down easier. Um, it tends to poke and then you're reaching up there pulling it down. It's not a deal breaker, but, but it is a thing. Um, here you can see the jacket with all the vents wide open. Uh, it still has a pretty clean look about it. Um, and of course with everything zipped up, it is super clean looking. Oh, my zipper's up. So again, a good thing talking about style wise is it's it's a pretty clean look and I like that I have the Kilimanjaro uh, adventure jacket and I I gotta say I absolutely love that jacket go uh, I'll throw a link up or I'll do something go look at that review um, that is absolutely by far one of my favorite jackets I've ever owned the fit and how you can move in it when you're on the motorcycle the pockets are are really well laid out but there are times, and, and many of them, especially when you're off-road and motocrossing, where it's just, it's too much. Um, nobody needs that many pockets. Nobody needs nine pockets on a jacket, okay? Um, and it's all those flaps and seams are just other places to break and wear uh, and, and failure points. Where here you have, you know, just a couple seams here and there. There's not like a whole bunch of different pieces of fabric all coming together. Again, I really like the clean look. I don't know how well it shows up in the video. Um, this jacket to me has kind of a, uh, a paper bag cut to it. This is a medium. And just for full disclosure, I'm five foot nine, nine and a half if I kind of jack my chest up there. Um, I have a 41 inch chest. I have a 34 inch uh, hip measurement and when I looked at the um, measurements to size this jacket I'm somewhere between a large and a medium this jacket is a medium so this is a medium with me with my plastic um, Alpine Stars uh, chest protector this is the $150 one this isn't the uh, incredibly expensive one I've fallen on this thing so many times I can I could definitely vouch here's a mini review the Alpine Stars $150 chest protector, elbow protector, shoulders. Awesome job. Um, tuck and roll, but awesome job. So I have that on underneath here. So now you know my measurements. This jacket across the chest and arms is just, it's just a little short, right? If I really stretch my hands out, my cuffs come out. Um, if I really pull my elbows forward, like I'm in an attack position, I can feel the stretch across my back. And yet, in the waist, it fits just fine. Um, I had the large, and the large just hung off me. I, oh, but the chest and the arms were perfect. It came down a little bit, uh, not quite to halfway down my hand, but it hung where a jacket should. It shouldn't hang back here on your wrist. 
you'll never be able to get your hands out of the out of the weather the large actually hung like this which is exactly where I'd like it this again hangs a little a little loose so as far as sizing goes it's a personal thing on me this jacket is is from here down is awesome and from here up is it'll work um, but I still like the medium on me more than the large so I love what Mosco Moto is doing um, as their concept as this is just an outer shell there's no protection built into the jacket itself there's no elbow pads there's no padding of, of any kind um, right you just have the fabric sewn and then I'm sorry you just have the fabric and then the event uh, applied to it there are there are no shoulder pads there are no elbow pads um, nothing protective about this jacket whatsoever other than the really super super heavy fabric and there's I hope that shows up the light is not the greatest there's this stuff here right and then on the actual elbows you can see it's a little bit different it's a little lighter gray a little heavier um, they're super ceramic fabric how's that look can you see that um, and then the rest is just kind of a, a heavy uh, soft shell material which I really like I own many many soft shells um, so the idea behind this jacket is when it's uh, you're out here cooking it's like 80 degrees right now this comes off and goes on your bike right I can put that away I can tuck it up and, and attach it to the back of my bike and cruise around my armor still intact um, I've done quite a few trips to Moab and through southern Colorado with my Kilimanjaro jacket which has vents everywhere but you still you still cook and you wish you could take it off but you can't because all your armor is built into the jacket so you have to wear the jacket no matter the conditions um, with this right I can take my jacket off and just wear my jersey or if it's really hot I can even take the jersey off and just ride around in my armor I've done that plenty of times but again it's for a specific kind of ride if you're just going to do an adventure ride fire roads gravel roads you're going to be hitting a lot of restaurants you're going to be in and out of your jacket all the time um, not really technical riding you need protection but you're not planning on crashing I think a regular adventure jacket is fine but there are those rides um, the Alpine Loop, the uh, uh, parts of the Utah backcountry discovery route that are really technical, you are going to want to have your real protection. Not that uh, an adventure jacket doesn't have real protection, but you're going to want to have you know, your pressure suit or, or something that's actually going to take a good hit. And in that case, this jacket is perfect. Um, the obvious downside is if I walk into a restaurant, right, we're, we're just doing a, a fun run. We're just, we're half of its road, half of its gravel road, and we're driving to Nucla for coffee. When you get there and you take your jacket off, right, you still look like a Robocop. And so in order to kind of gear down, you're going to have to take my jersey off. I'm going to have to take all this off. And let me go ahead and do that a while while we're talking about it. So when you uh, take your gear off, you have to take everything off. Not that that's a problem, but sometimes it can look a little weird in a restaurant when you're standing there stripping. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull all this stuff off because the next thing I want to show you is, well, what if, what if I just want to wear it for a jacket? Should I size up or down, right? So here's my Alpenstar's pressure suit I love this thing I've fallen down on this thing so many times Ooh, a little sweaty all right so here I am with nothing on it if you're wondering can I wear this as um, like a soft shell just a regular jacket around town um, I think the answer is absolutely yes and because of the clean lines and here now you'll notice that it falls right where I like my jackets to fall when I don't have my armor, my padding in. Could I wear this around town as just a regular um, soft shell or rain shell? I think the answer is absolutely yes. 
wear um, with it a full-blown adventure jacket with all the pockets and zippers and velcro things sticking off you'll look a little goofy you'll look a little dorky not that that's a bad thing that way that's how we recognize each other right you recognize the the goggle tan and the dirt around your mouth and your goofy clothes you're the only guy walking around in motocross squeaky boots right and i live in snow mass so that means everybody asks me if i was out skiing today not ski boots motocross boots um so here's the fit of the basilisk jacket with no right with no armor on it um, it actually fits me a medium really really well while we're talking about good bad and ugly on the side of the jacket are these wings right and basically that is there to if you want to tighten up your jacket you pull these back and I'll do this to both sides so you can see you pull these back and it gives you more of a fitted it. Um, I tried this with the large to make it work and I, I didn't like it. I think, and I'm going to talk to Moscomoto directly right now, that's, that's cheating, that's, I think that's lazy. I think there are better ways to do that. Most jackets, to give you a fitted fit, will actually cut them in a fitted fit. Um, so here it is with the wings all loaded up. Now you see I've got this big old crease in the jacket to take up that room. And for sure, can you tell now? You see how, how tight it is? This is the way I wish it fit all the time. And that's with these wings hold close but then I end up with this weird fabric crease in there it's just I don't know I, it's just weird I think I get it so when you do this you get the fitted look right Arcteryx Patagonia they know their clientele their clientele are hikers climbers outdoorsy people for the most part they don't have a big old fat beer donut gut like I do um, so they cut their clothes at, in an athletic cut. I think Moscow Moto, is it Moscow or Mosco? I was really confused about that. I think what they were going for with, with these wing things was you could have the best of both worlds. I could slim it up for my, uh, my athletic fit and then I can let me see if I can open this up quick. All right, there's one wing. Or I can open those wings up can you see the difference i can feel the difference right and now i'm in the the american paper bag cut look where it just hangs straight down that way if you've got a big ass belly poking out here right i'm about to give birth to uh to a keg of cores or something um there's room for your gut um i'm not it's not a bad thing i'm not saying it's horrible it's definitely not a deal breaker uh it's just a a weird thing in my opinion. This is a, a bomb proof jacket for sure. Um, all the seams are sealed. Wherever there's seams that come together, it's double sealed. This thing should be super waterproof other than the zippers. And I have never met a waterproof zipper I couldn't squeeze water through. So I'm not gonna hold them to 100% waterproofness. Um, unless you're in a dry suit, you ever try to zip those zippers? Impossible. Um, as we're going through the details in the jacket, you can see these little um, seams that are inside the storm flap on the zipper. See these little seams, these little ridges? That's so when the water does get through your waterproof zipper, right? It, the idea is that the water will come in here and then channel down off the bottom and it won't actually get through to you. Uh, that's a really cool little detail that they've added. I've seen that on other jackets. Usually it's only one or it's out here on the end. They've actually gone ahead and, and done it twice. So would I pay 600 bucks? I already have. I'm not gonna send it back. I'm gonna keep it. Um, 
and hopefully beat the shit out of this thing. So that's my review of the Moscomoto Basilisk 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 See the lizard? Like I said, look it up. I'm pretty sure it's a lizard, snake, chicken creature. I have no idea what that has to do with armor.